won't tell any lesson of our web design boot camp. In this lesson, we are going to learn about how to create a blog post. We are going to understand what a blog post is and how to create it. So we'll get into the conclusion quickly, then we'll look at it. But before then, if you're yet to watch the previous videos, I want you to understand that this is a continuation of the series of videos that we are doing as part of the web design boot camp. So do all to watch them in order to appreciate it. However, if this is where you've got into, then welcome you are welcome to follow me on this as we get into the computer to look at how to create a blog post. So on the website that we currently have, let me refresh it for you to see the most reliable plumbing services. Obviously, this is a dummy site that we install, so we don't really have much here to do. But one thing you realize is that there is no blog in this. And in the 21st century, almost every website is adding a blog to their website. And I've explained what a blog is in a previous lesson, which hopefully you watch. But basically, a blog is the part of the website that will be updated frequently. You'll be putting information or news, or you update the articles there frequent, as frequent as possible. So we want to create or add a blog to this particular website. So to add a blog, the blog in itself is a page. But that page has content that is added onto it regularly. So we have to come to pages, then create a new page. Just as we did in our previous lessons, create a new page. Just type B-L-O-G, as in the page title is blog. So you go ahead and write blog. For some companies, they may want to write it as news. So depending on who you are working with and what you want to write, okay, whatever the idea is, but what we are dealing with is blog post. So you select this one, and sometimes for some of the teams, you will have to change the template of the team. Okay, so to change the template of the team, when you come, after you've created, okay, let's go ahead and publish it first. Oh no, let's sorry, let's find the team before we publish it. So once you sell you've entered a name, make sure page is selected, then on the page you see the template. So now we are using the default template. We have the elemental canvas, we have the elemental full team, and we have the team. So any of them that you want to use, preferably elemental canvas. For now, we, we can change it anytime anyway. So publish. Then let's view our page. Let's view it in a new tab. Okay, so because we chose Elementor Canvas, there is nothing on our page. Maybe let's go back and change it to the default template. Default template and update it. Refresh this. Okay, so this is how obviously the heading, the page title, the uh, folder. This is what we have. But we will need to make a few changes. So, here in the very first three lessons or so, I mentioned this. When you go to settings, pay attention here. We need to go to settings to change something. There our website is currently not recognizing this page as our blog post page. Okay, so we we'll need to go and do that settings and we have to go to settings and I think it should be under reading. Settings reading. Then when you come to reading, you see these things. Your home page displays. When we were talking about initially, I said you should choose a static page and that's what we did. Home page is home. Now, post page. We want to select our post page. So our blog is not okay, blog is here. So now you want to select the post page to be blog. Blog. So make sure you select that one and come to save changes. Once you save changes, now our website recognizes this page as our blog page. So as you can see, the first blog that is a default blog post that is on it has been added here. And we can click on this to go and read the main blog post. Okay, so the blog page is a page where the collection of blog posts will be put. So people can come there and see the various blog posts that you've put, uh, you've created. Then they will click on it to go and read the details of the blog. 
So now the focus of this particular lesson is to create a blog post. To create a blog post, you come to post and at a post you have add new. That's how we go about it to create a new blog post. New here. And when it comes to creating blog posts, I don't encourage using the page borders. Blog posts are basically text that you are writing. It's just like when you are writing a, a Word document or a Google Doc document, a Google Doc. Okay, so it's quite simple and you can easily use this editor straightforward. So let's assume I'm writing about what was the website even about? I think the most reliable plumbing services. Okay, so let's say how to get the best out of your plumber. I'm just I'm just typing anything that comes into my head. Okay, so let's assume this is the content that we are creating. So you need to begin with the uh, blog post title. So this will be my title of the blog post I'm creating. And now the content. Let me go and generate some dummy tests. Lorem. Lorem is Okay, so we are just going to copy some content from here and go and paste it. Alright, so I've copied this. But ideally, if you are creating a website, that will be actual content that you are putting there. Okay, now I have this. Then maybe I want to add any other thing, an image, a heading. So if you want to add an image, you click this add, this black or blue add icon here, then choose what you want to add. So an image, let's choose an image from our gallery and select this. You can increase the size of this image any how you want. Then we go ahead, we want to add a heading. So heading, then heading, we say questions to ask your plumber. Then we'll go ahead and write content. So maybe our content is like this. So basically, that is the idea behind writing a blog post. Then you can go ahead and add something, uh, any other thing you want. So click on this, then you can browse all of them and see what is only you want to add. You can add a table, then create a table, put the information in there. So something like this, something like that. Okay, anything you want, you can go ahead. Once you have done and you are satisfied with the blog that you have created, then you go ahead and publish it. But because we've installed the Yoast plugin already, this is what we are going to see down here. The Yoast plugin helps us optimize our blog post for SEO. SEO is short for search engine optimization. So you want to set a focus keyword, that's where you want this to run. We'll talk about SEO later, later, but this is just giving you an idea. Then is your content readable? So readability green. So that means it's good for us to move on. Anyway, you are done with the blog post, so you can go ahead and click publish. But one thing I forgot to mention, when you select post here, you should be able to set the category. If you have not created a category, you should be able to add new category. So let's say facts. Oh, oh no, this one won't be a fact. Let's uh, articles. It, it could be anything. Just the advice I'll give you is that you should just look at other websites that are similar to what you're building and see what exactly they are doing. So now that I've selected that, I can decide that this is part of the articles category. You can set the featured image. So the featured image is basically the image that should come with it when people or when you share the link around. So let's select this one as featured image and you realize that in here it's going to change. And this is how it's going to look when you share your content on other platforms. So once we are done, let's update this. And you can update, keep updating your blog post anytime you want. And your permanent 
link that's a link to the blog is here so you can copy this and check it out anywhere in the browser so this is the blog post that we have created and now when we go to our blog page this is our blog page if you should refresh it this was the original blog that was there if you refresh it we'll have the additional one that we've created you see so this is how it looks but we can also edit how the actual blog page looks like okay so later we'll look at how to use this customize and how to make some of these edits and it depends on the team some of the teams do not present them that way others do so when you come to this to look at blog then the blog or archive that's what we are talking about blog archive how do we want it to look like you see the post structure we want the featured image to appear then the title and the metadata that is the articles category by this person we want all those ones to appear then the post content we, we want the whole content to appear or just the asset so you see as i've chosen post content full content is really everything but most preferably you want just an asset of the post on your blog page so currently i'm not showing you the publish date if you want you can turn that one on you can turn on the tax as well so you can make some changes here then now let's go to design so this was under general i'm going to design and under design we have how many posts do you want on the archive page so this is a font size 40 so you can decide that okay i want mine to be 20 pesos instead of 40. that's like this particular one so let's publish it and see there's the font size for the title then post title font size to so you can be playing around if you want to see okay uh, let's send it back to creative then publish so some some things will not give you the ability to customize much but other things you'll be able to even change the layout here i think astra does not permit us to change the layout so in subsequent lessons we will use a different team the one that gives you full control over it then i'll show you exactly how to do this thing so basically we are done with creating our blog post and now in this video you've appreciated how to create blog posts how to create even a blog page itself that's the archive page for your blog post then how to go about it to create posts i hope you're enjoying the lessons and you are learning new things building up this web design skill hopefully by the end of these lessons you should be able to create wonderful websites and i look forward to seeing your work out there if you have any questions go ahead and comment them below or join our telegram group and ask your questions in the telegram group where i'll respond to it you can check for the link to the telegram group in the description below i'll see you in the next lesson bye